Hi guys, <clears throat> I've come out in my car, in the rain and the gloom, because I think <clears throat> um, what I have to talk about today is probably one of the most profound um, pinnacle moments, pinnacle um, understandings to date um, and it's so much I feel like it's probably going to be a, a few videos but <clears throat> if you want to tune in incline your ear then you might resonate it started last night with this profound knowing that every time I did anything in my life I would have these like epiphanies or these moments where I would realize myself as divinity as God and the picture that I had as I was seeing this play out time and time again was the image of the snake eating its own tail you know, it was cyclic and it would start from the tail and it, I would go through these moments or these cycles in life and then when I reached the head of the snake I would flash gold I would have this epiphany of my godhead and then it was as if a hand an almighty hand would come and wipe my knowledge in the sand and erase it completely and I was watching this happening again and again and I was picturing um, picturing my marriage and the epiphanies that took place and why that had to happen and ah oh, moment and then it would go or um, the death of my mother and then I'd have this epiphany or this ah oh, moment of God and the beauty of the orchestration of all of it and then it would be gone and I was watching this play out in my mind's eye this vision that I was having <clears throat> and I started to scream <laughs> and I started to shout at God because something outside of that experience of the realization even of my own Godhead there was something beyond there too and I was screaming and saying why do you keep erasing my my, my progress why do you keep erasing why do I keep coming back down and eating my tail why do I keep forgetting and I said I, I, I I'm tired of this now I really want to just remember and to stay in remembrance and I want to know what's outside of this because these cycles were happening and then even like to the point where I'd see the end of my life and I'd die and then it was like I was coming back. Hi Michael, just sent me hearts as I'm doing this video on YouTube. Um, so I was going through this cyclic, cyclic, cyclic and I was getting so frustrated because I wanted to stay in that Godhead. I wanted to stay in this wisdom. And I was saying, I am the wisdom keeper. But how can I do what I came here to do if you keep erasing my memory? I want to stay in that remembrance. I want to know what's beyond this. I want to know what's beyond this world. I want to know what's beyond what is the point of all of it. And then I was kind of realizing that the weeks that have been building to this moment have been a, a lot about anger. I've been so infuriated by the state of the world and the darkness and the, the injustice and this fucking in, imbalance between male and female and I'm wanting to, to resolve it and I'm wanting to bring justice to this that it's like this is not the way we were created, this is not the way we're supposed to live but this anger was valid and I was realising this is a righteous anger but this is beyond a righteous anger I am standing now and I am demanding in the face of God to see, I want to see what's beyond all of this. What is the point of all of this? 
because I'm tired and it's getting a little bit monotonous and boring now. It's, it's not just for these glimpses. I'm not going to live for just the glimpses. I'm not going to live to create songs that will give people glimpses. I want to know what else is out there. I want to know what's beyond this. And then suddenly it was like a snap and I heard like a rumble. I want to say a rumble. And I saw like, like my my pathways opened up and I was one with God and I was in the gold, this, this gold God head. And I heard a voice say, you are the gold. You are the wisdom keeper. And whenever you are, whenever you are, um, the key to the kingdom, the key to creating the kingdom is through your heart. It has to come through your heart. That is the channel in which the kingdom flows. It cannot come any other way. It doesn't come through your mind. It doesn't come through your third eye. You can have spiritual experiences beyond this. You can have wonderful like experiences and forget it all and act out of alignment with the kingdom. There's a particular blueprint that you came to earth to achieve and it operates through the heart. And this gold was flowing through my heart. And then I looked and then I saw, I've seen before, right? Okay, uh, this, I've talked about manifestation and, and, and timelines just crumbling. This world is an illusion. When we were in our old house, I remember standing in the kitchen and literally watching the, it like a hologram disappear and the walls just disappeared and I was in an, an, an empty space. And I heard spirits say that you won't be living here much longer. This house... You've gone beyond this. You need a richer house. You need a bigger house. I've got something bigger and better for you. And I had shifted in my mindset and my spirit. So therefore my reality was shifting into a, a more rich state, a more prosperous state, a larger house. And then again, the, the, a larger car. It doesn't matter about the monetary, but it was matching my frequency. And I watched the hologram of that house disappear. In this moment that I've just had, I watched my entire 47 years of my life be, look like a hologram and it fell to nothing. Everything that I've ever experienced in this world, this whole world, the whole world, fell to nothing and I realized it was all an illusion and what was left beyond that falling like a veil a gray veil fell I saw out of my heart this pouring had created a structure and I want to explain it like this you know when you've got an ant hole in in the in the earth you just see a little hole in 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 the surface of the earth but pe people have done this art where you pour gold or you put pour uh, a liquid metal into the ant hole and then they let it set and then they excavate and these articulate little architectural uh, there are the words uh the architecture of the ant hive holes whatever you call them they pull them out and they're like integrated weaving little tunnels and they, they, they create this structure in in the metal it was like that everything fell away and all that I could see was what I created with this gold, this kingdom. And this kingdom had flown through me and I, and it was hardened. And God saw it. I hadn't seen it. And he was showing it to me. That's what you've done. To this point, that's what you've done. That's what you've created. You're creating the kingdom of gold. It's gold. And it's in, it's, it's in amongst you. The kingdom is here amongst you. But you can't see it sometimes. You can't see the fruit of your words. You can't see the fruit of your voice. You can't see the fruit of the things you say and that's touched people. I'm going to have to do two videos. And I saw the kingdom. And I saw it had been created from my own heart. Which is made in the image of God. And I was creating this kingdom. And it was in the tiniest of things. And stop a sec. <clears throat> I said to God in that moment, I want to only operate this way. I don't want to keep forgetting. I don't want to keep erasing the progress. I don't think it's erased because the kingdom was solid. The stuff that I'd done, the stuff that we do when we're building the kingdom, 
it's it's there. It doesn't get erased. It reminded me of the song, um, the man that built.